Separation Studio is the latest development of spot process by Freehand Graphics. I'm Dane Clement, owner of Great Dane Graphics, and I'm going to give you a video overview of all the new tools and features in Separation Studio. What you see here is the brand new interface for the best separation software in the industry. It's extremely powerful, yet easy to use. Let's take a quick overview of Separation Studio's workspace. Once you have an image open, it's actually separated already. Separation Studio separates that file as it comes into it. So if we look around here, up in the upper left hand corner, we have our open menu or open button. We have a close button, we have a save button. Very easy, very big, easy to navigate, easy to use. Um, right here we have a ground color. You can actually choose the ground color or change the ground color as you want to work. Um, I can tell you this, when I do my separation, I always leave it on black, no matter what color shirt I'm going to be printing. If the artwork looks good on a black background, it will print fine on any color shirt. Uh, over here to the left, we have our tools palette. We have the drag tool. We have the, las uh, the zoom tool, the lasso tool, polygon lasso, regular select tool, saturation tool, desaturation, and an eraser. This is the really powerful stuff. This is brand new to spot process. Before we, uh, before we had these tools, we had to take it in everything into Photoshop and make any adjustments. What these tools allow us to do is make selected areas uh, and, and make our, our adjustments to just that selected area. Uh, over here at the bottom of the screen, we have our channels. This first one here is called Proof Positive. That's what we have visible on screen right now. It's our full color preview. And the rest of these are all our separation channels, each color that is involved in this job. Over here to the right, we have our active channels buttons here. We, when these buttons here are checked on, that means you can make an adjustment to those channels. If we wanted to, let's say, just focus on his eyes and make an adjustment only to the gold, we would turn these other check boxes off and leave just the gold one on. And we'll do that in a later video. What you see over here to the right, this is our universal uh, channel adjustments window. If I double click one of the name of the color, I'll get this little window that pops up. High saturation, low saturation, and what these allow us to do is juice up the colors or cut back on the colors, reduce the color the colors intensity on film. Be sure to watch the other videos in this how-to series.